If you reduce the manifest form of Ishra in two orders, I said the psychological order is in order to be understood thoroughly. The human psychology stems from self-consciousness and the consciousness of the self is hundred percent. Therefore, one is self-judgmental And, and also highly judgmental of all situations implying people too. Therefore, a human being is highly complex being with complexes. It's not that one is prone to complex, the other is not. All are fraught with complexes. Any condition, emotional condition, one does not want to have. including a reluctance to learn, a reluctance to change, indifference to one's own, one's own self, absence of self-care, all these are psychological. And there is an order. If I understand the manifestation of Ishwara in a human being, in the form of this order, psychological order, every emotion one has is in order. Anger is not peculiar to one. Jealousy is not peculiar to somebody. Fear, apprehensions, self-persecution, fear of persecution, all these are different forms belonging to the same order. Why? Order means there is a cause for every form which is an effect. Therefore, every emotion has a background. The psychologist doing research in this human emotions discovers a certain connection, sambandha, 
between a condition before a condition now. Before mostly within four and a half years understand of your age. This is amazing. That is the core person plus what happens later. The core issues control the whole emotional life of a person. And between these core issues and the obtaining emotional condition of a given person, there is a karana karya sambandha. One cause the other effect sambandha a relationship. This relationship is Ishwara. It's not self-created. It's given. If the physical order is given, the earth is going around the sun, it's given. If a physiological order is given, as even biological order, psychological order is given. Given means it's a manifestation of Ishwara. And therefore, any whiff of emotion is not irrelevant, is not peculiar to myself. Freud was a great man. He was one of the modern rishis like Einstein, Newton. These are all great Maharishis. Maharishis, rishis they are. Rishi because he has given us an insight about this much more clearly than anyone else before. But in our culture, <coughs> there is this recognition that a, a talked out sadness does reduce sadness. An acknowledgement of what is Swabhava, Prakriti Swabhava, Nigraha Kim Karishyati. There is a certain truth about it. As order, definitely makes you a person in order. My self-judgment is my self-esteem. If I look at every whiff of emotion is because of a cause, I am cognitive. I am really enlightened in this in this area. I need not even know the cause. That would be resorting to psychology and psychotherapy, psychoanalysis. It has got its own 